So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you something very interesting, which is Tencent Union 2.5D 3D. So let's see now. This is the website. So what? What this time? This guy is not giving code outside. So they kept it there in server. So let's see here. This is the landing page. Once you come here, and one interesting things I found here is, if you haven't seen Union 2.0 model, which is much advanced version 2.5, which means. you will get like a better structure on the 3d generation which is lot of details less weirdness and that doesn't mean you will get a 100% pure 3d model it is much much advanced version so far available in the market so let's see how does it works so once you come here and you will be seen here so vincent 3d to sheng 3d there is a two categories if you go here which is you have to generate by text to 3d you can type whatever you want a cute seal or whatever you want you can type it here and generate it's a purely something like a text to so i'm not showing this one you can feel free to explore yourself however you want so this is this is the results okay now once you come to shank 3 and under this you have a two categories one is single image i'm going to show this one and also let's say if you haven't if you generate something in mid journey or other workflows comfy if you know like mb adapters where you can go give a single input image you will get like a something right now you are seeing here right so front side back views you can generate from single image in comfy if you done that you can also come here and upload those images here so that's the reason they given a multi images so let's go to single image so before going that i can introduce this model i mean the overall website how does it works every day if you log in you will get 20 i tried already yesterday one so each generation it will take one point so that means you can do almost 20 generations per day which is very good so now it's i love this ui and overall flow right this is what i generated so you can see here right this image let me show you where i did this one this is the my image so what i did i generated this image in mid journey so what i did here now i come here i input so let's see now how it looks look at the details so let me if you tap here it will automatically it will rotate it's pretty good what is another interesting thing you can also rig this here so now animation being generated so once it's generated it start animating but some reason weights are mismatching here it will messed up so let's see look here it looks weird because this pose is not correct you can take like a very subtle normal pose this can be very it will it can come very good so now let's see this is how it looks okay let's come back a bit now i can go to main page and send so this is what they given and one interesting things before getting into the another details if you are watching a comfy tutorials so guys learn comfy is one of the best why i am telling So this is my one of the my comfy flow, right? So generally, if you go here, this is my comfy, and I can go detach, attach. I can do many things here. So uh, many people know aware about this. How does it, this workflow works, right? It's like a individual Lego blocks. You coming, you are bringing together, and you are connecting, and you are bringing your own workflow. Once you done this one, you can go and uh, save workflow or export as a JSON, and you can redo or you can share with other people. so similar way why i am explaining this part many people are aware about this so come here workflows this is things getting very interesting they are giving a comfy similar to node base comfy workflow let's see now what let's say now you want to do something nice character workflow you tap it here and boom you get a node blocks so and since it is their workflow you can't disconnect for now because everything they set up for you you go here and write a prompt generate go hit a run so this is the run button so you can go here and run it however you want right so you will get generate this one now so similar way there are multiple workflows and these things are stay tuned means which is in progress they are bringing to users so right now still i think they haven't added anything so if you want your own workflow you created somewhere else outside and you can bring these json files so, so many multiple templates and look here and also it can reduce the faces whatever you are doing 
previously 2.0 you generate a 3d model you bringing to the blender and you do something there or using some plugins so what they're doing they are doing everything here itself you can see here under pose transformation object many things you can do many things here and they are also bringing to some of the plugins so let's go back and generate one of the sample so now what i'm going to do i am going to generate one, one more one of the image let's see now i'm going to take a single image and for time being what i'm going to do i'm going to pick subtle so what we'll do now we'll test with multiple images that's the reason i pick these images so why i pick this image because this looks very blocky and this is realistic this is a character let's try this one then and this is the vehicle and this is the realistic one so i will do all these generations i'll show you maybe you know i don't want to pause entire video so what i'll do offline and i'll show you the videos so for now i'm going to pick this one crocodile so let's see this one yep so let's pick and you can keep an eye right now i have and you see identified there is a line gone basically what does it mean whenever you upload an image this model onion tencent model will read vision model will read what kind of image you upload let's say you are doing something very creepy or nude or anything you you upload to violating the public rules so then you are not able to upload they won't allow to upload so that's really cool so even this applies for cling any other websites also especially let's say you are putting some politician some sort of stuff you want to keep into the, their thing you mark them you make them very funny manner and all they won't allow that stuff so now you done make sure you select 2.5 and now let's hit a generate now you see here once i generate it goes 18 and your model is ready look at this man this looks really cool i know but texture looks very weird here but overall generation looks pretty good but definitely if you compare with the texture it is bit messing right now i have a woolen very furry kind of look but which is making very flat so that's about this model what i'm going to do now i think you can add straight away all this automatic binding so you hit this one and it will go on make the bones now i'm not going to do that what i'm going to do i'm going to download this and i will experiment in the blender let's see now this is where my model i have imported this is my model and let's see whether it comes okay cool look here look at the details it's a pretty good really good look at the i mean examine the model almost everything coming pretty good i know texture is a bit missing but holistically overall look at the details i mean let's come back and see this and it's coming to so many polygons but by far it looks super good so this is my texture and if you go and see this is how you're getting a uv uv so i, I know this is a not right process but for mock for base this is very good so let's see now now what i'm going to do this is one model i'm going to do another one so now we got this one so let's try to do with the another version so now this time what i'm going to do so we have seen the other one now let's check with the mechanical things how it gonna cover up this one so now i'm going to make okay let's make this i think this pretty much symmetrical i guess it will come very good so let's try with the this has a lot of minor details it's coming so it's up to you if sometime if you don't want so let's say you your requirement is completely different so i don't want anyway i'm not going to use i maybe use some simple shader or my own shader in blender or wherever my requirement is then you can turn off if you are not really using that so now i'm going to test this one i guess this also turned out to be very good yeah this looks super good really i haven't expected this level oh my god this looks so good look at the details extremely good if i'm using in production definitely no but for the mocks for the whatever you are concept work for example when this is the one blocker right when you are building any 3d concept sorry any a images you will get this image but next time if you are generating something you might not get exactly same but it will look similar to that maybe you can do style reference or omni reference whatever you do in mid journey or any other places but you might not get same so this is one of the 
use big use cases where you can come back and do it if you are doing a traditional bringing a photo bashing whatever right 3d concept art so download and keep it however you want you can use that in the composition that is what i am seeing so now let me download and see so of course i'm not going to do any so you also see here a lot of formats now i'm going to download look at the details so nice damn good man this looks very good look at the i couldn't even imagine this so one more thing if you i mean this is simple hack you get full shader graph everything here look at the level of details so this is my if i want to go i can go and put it some environment map i can go and pick something here so then i will turn off this so this is my model now go here test out with the, this one of course this also we can test it out but i would like to see the human figure animal everything is there in this space so by the way all this image is has been generated in the mid journey so i'm going to show you here what i will do here so let's bring everything on one place maybe i'll keep this one here so now i have uploaded the image everything pbr i'm putting so i'm hitting generating so figure it out yeah it's coming pretty good though so only thing is what i notice it's surprising man it is coming really good one thing only one thing what is happening here i guess so let's take this so it's not coming exactly what we given so i think it's, it's taking some sort of a stylization by its own some model is running internally but essentially so let's say this if you look at the pig that is coming that's taking overall the shape overall essence everything taking but it's it does change some sort of a stylization for but in this level even here it's at this level it's really amazing look at this my god this is so cool so now i am going to import this as well extremely good this is also good overall everything coming together yeah only this my only the feedback complaint is it's not exactly taking a realistic photo but that's totally fine yeah that's about guys so feel free to and explore here and uh, go here and uh, try it out all these options so also you have multiple options so laboratory because where they are doing all this is there you know how to reduce animations texture generation mini game creation basically you can go on so there are multiple options i am going to explain this one so you can do like there are some certain kind of things where you can dump into your model you can generate some sort of a quick games this is again sketch to 3d you draw something you can do so let's say go here you can put it like a, any sort of a this is a your image you upload simple i'm not going to do right now i don't have any image so let's see this is the image you drawn and you can upload it can convert to the 3d this is there already this is it's been there quite long but what this guys does is they improved a lot on the output so that's what uh, you can see in the output so this i totally love it so definitely this is one of the best model so thank you guys thanks for watching if you like my explanation my videos please like and subscribe so now one more thing i would like to tell you so if you want to i will put it all the links and everything in the comment box uh, feel free to explore yourself and let me know so if you need any invitation code or anything please comment it i'll send you so see you bye